Welcome to my channel, where we discuss everything and all things politics, economy, and development in Nigeria and around the world. River State Crisis is a gift that keeps giving. Why did I say that? Because every other day, new things are developing in that state which shows that those who are fighting the government of River State are unrelent unrelenting and they are coming up with new devices to make the government of Fubara ungovernable, to make him unsettled, to stop him from concentrating in the job he was elected to do, that is providing dividends of democracy for people of River State. Now, after a long while, you have not heard about the Proyeso Mike lawmakers, but they have now come out from the woodward after what appears to them to be a saving grace from the Court of Appeal, which they now believe has restored them as legitimate lawmakers of the state, even though the, the governor of River State camp and Nigeria G60 lawmakers from the National Assembly insist that what the Court of Appeal stated was not an indication that their status as lawmakers have been confirmed. But that, whatever may be the case, they have come out in a full force to show that they are now in charge of the State Assembly. But we are going to see in this analysis how Simi Fubara is also trying to tackle them trying to, to go ahead of them as they manipulate the system to make themselves in charge. Fubara is also moving along with the tide to counter them. Just like uh, uh, Achebe said in Things Fall Apart, when he was talking about the Eneke Dibet, Eneke Dibet who said that since man has learned to shoot without missing, it has learned to fly without pitching. You can use that to describe what is going on in River State in terms of the response of Fubara to what they are, his enemies are, are putting forward to ensure that he does not function effectively or that he is even removed from office. Now, the River State House of Assembly led by Martins Amehule. That is Amehule led as for assembly. This Amehule is the, the those that defected from the PDP to APC. So that, that assembly has given the state governor, Simi Fubara, a seven day deadline to resume, to resubmit the 2024 budget. This order was issued during the first session of the pro Wiki House on Monday after a hiatus of several months. Now, while these Proyeso Wiki lawmakers were meeting at the Assembly quarters in River State, there was also a parallel session that was held by another faction of the House, led by Victor Okojombo. In fact, it was this assembly that screened uh, Emmanuel Frank Fubara, that was a uh, commissioner nominee that has now been sworn in as commissioner for finance in River State. So, these two assemblies were, were meeting simultaneously. Now, 
to put this in context, Fubara had previously presented the budget to the faction of the of the State House of Assembly that was led by the by his chief of staff, Edison A here. Chief of, the, the, the Fubara's present chief of staff, Edison A here, used to be the speaker before Fubara elevated him to chief of staff. And it was when he was the speaker that Fubara presented the state appropriation bill. And it was passed into law. Now these lawmakers, they have come back to say, Fubara must present it back, must present the budget to them. And they have given the, him seven days ultimatum. I don't know what they intend to do by that seven days, whether they will impeach the governor, what they will do. The country should be waiting to see what it is they want to do. because it's, a, it's an interesting development that's going on in River State. So we wait with wetted bread what they want to do. But good enough, the governor of River State, Simu Fubara, was able to ambush them, was able to go ahead of them was able to understand where they were going to. So while they were in the state assembly, in the quarters, the assembly quarters, in Offer Bar Road, in Port Harcourt, the Fubara administration was in court to ensure that whatever they would have as their resolution would become a nullity. And that was exactly what Fubara obtained. So their threat has been nullified by a court injunction that was obtained even before their resolution could come out. That was a good move by Fubara. That's what I said earlier on that Chino uh, Achebent uh, Things Fall Apart was writing about a naked bed who said that since men have learned to shoot without missing, it has learned to fly without pitching. So that is what is going on. So what, how, how did it, how, what did, what did Fubara did? Fubara's people went to a high court and got an injunction. Now, the High Court of Justice of River State, presided by Justice Jumbo Stephen, has barred the state's chief judge, Justice Semo, Semone Amade, from implementing any resolution by 27 defected lawmakers. The court, in a fresh order, dated July 8, 2024, also barred the state clerk of the State House of Assembly from acting on their resolutions. The fresh, the fresh order issued by the court reads, and I quote, that an order of interim injunction is hereby made restraining the 31st and the 32nd defendants from dealing or howsoever relating with the first and 27th defendant as members of the River State House of Assembly and from receiving forwarding on how or howsoever acting on any resolutions, articles of impeachment or other documents or communication from the first to 27th defendants pending the hearing and determination of the motion on notice 
for interlocutory injunction already filed herein that the parties to this suit are at this moment directed to maintain the status quo ante in this suit as at 5th July 2024 pending the hearing and determination of the motion on notice for interlocutory injunction already filed herein. An order is hereby made for substituted service of the originating and other processes in this suit on the first to 38 defendants by pasting the same at the gates of the River State House of Assembly quarters opposite former NDDC headquarters of Abarod, Port Harcourt, River State. That this matter is hereby adjourned to the 15th day of July 2024 for the motion on notice for interlocutor. End of quote. That is how Fubara people was able to ambush them, was able to go ahead of them as they were planning bad against the administration of Fubara. Fubara also acting ahead of them to ensure that they don't have the final say. So the matter now is in court. The ultimatum they gave is now meaningless because they can't even submit that ultimatum. And you don't, the resolutions of the House is not passed through newspaper headlines. You don't pass it through the newspaper. You don't pass it through television. You don't pass it through social media. You must collect, you must pass it from the clerk of the House to the governor. Now the court said, the clerk on no account must you collect any resolution from these people. Don't collect any resolution whatsoever, howsoever. Don't collect it. You are barred from collecting it. The state chief judge is also barred from having collecting that resolution. So when these people cannot even collect it, it means that the governor cannot even see it and the governor cannot act based on what he read in newspapers or what he heard on radio from radio stations or what he saw on television or any other medium except through the clerk of the house. So that Fubara was able to take care of that uh, shenanigan from the State House of Assembly for now while we all wait to see what the court will say on July 15. That is the way it is in River State for now. But you know the River State issue keep on coming up with new things basically because the government of the day, I'm talking about the federal government, has not thought it fit to see that this matter is settled and that Fubara is giving his rightful recognition as the governor of River State and chief security officer of that state for that matter. That's my take on this issue. Thank you for watching this video. And if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you. And please don't forget to like this video. Because when you like it, God will rank it high and recommend it for more people. Thank you and God bless you and yours.